Okay, we're back, and uh, now we're going to talk about what's going to happen in the future, or what you think might happen, or yes. what you'd like to happen. Yes. Well, I'm in Quebec right now, and, I, and I'm enjoying living there. I have a great little apartment, and, and no television, just a record player, and I love that. I've been collecting vinyl with the, my spare money lately, and the music's really uh, healing me and, and giving a lot to me, and, and uh, you know, more and more influences all the time. Uh, I'd like to stay in Quebec for at least another year. I have some great gigs coming up, like the Montreal Jazz Festival, which I was just hired for, which I've wanted that gig for a long time. So it's showing that there's some support in Quebec and that the fans are you know, uh, requesting me or asking for me, which is great. And I do have a good agent there. So for now, I'm going to stay in Quebec uh, you know, for another year, uh, watch the album come out in Europe, tour it in Europe. I'll be out in Europe several times in 2011 you know, uh, touring. And then I've thought about possibly moving to Europe in 2012, which would be, you know, uh, not Just about a, not the time a, of the Holocaust? Yeah. <laughs> the Mayan calendar. I don't know what's going to happen. But, you know, seriously, it is uh, not a bad idea if I'm releasing a new album there and I've toured it and things go well that I move out there. Simply, I've met so many musicians from mostly the United States, but I know there's a lot from Canada out there also. Uh, who have moved to Europe simply because it's easier to make a living there. And then you're not you know, dealing with flying back and forth constantly because it is possible that I could have some good success there, but I would have to be traveling back and forth a lot. And, it, you know, it can, be, it can get a little hard. So I think yeah. it might not be a bad idea that I could still be exotic. They're going to know I'm from Canada, uh, that I'm a Canadian girl, but living there wouldn't be a bad thing. And hopefully then it would open up possibly touching other parts of Europe because everything's so close. Once you get out there, it's only a train ride to France. It's, you know, I mean... Everything's in driving distance, even. Yeah. So it would change uh, the options of what's accessible to me. And Many North uh, Americans have made great careers in Europe. Absolutely. There's you know, when there was doors were closed. Closed in, in, in other parts of the world. That's right. And the United States is a bit trickier, too. And that's why I think a lot of these American artists have moved to Europe. So I'm mostly focused on Canada and Europe right now and getting as many gigs as I can. I, I feel for all of the fans contacting me from the U.S. wanting me to perform there right now. It's not looking you know that practical because I'm I really will be out in Europe a lot but that's it's not a bad thing uh, you know um, like I said it's just a lot of love of music there and I know I can find the venues because people aren't sitting at home watching their televisions well we hope you're watching this but well, <laughs> they love but they love they, the blues they love the blues uh, there it's big for the blues in Germany specifically but also just live music in general there's so many open-air festivals in the summer yeah. so many small venues bars and places that are not shutting down the live music due to you know financial issues and stuff which we keep seeing happening in different parts of Canada but you know but on a, on a positive note there are more and more people starting up jams and starting up guest spots uh, you know for, for musicians and and talking to their kids and taking them to blues festivals and so as much as it seems like it's on its way out sometimes or there's a darkness there there's there's a lot of light too there's blues always of, comes back it always does and and uh, I'm never giving up on the blues that's for sure yeah. I've always said that it, it, that you'll hear the blues influence in my music no matter what my music sounds like as it changes over the years and uh, the next thing for me is I, I've considered I, I released a book of poetry that I wrote uh, in 2010 yeah I read it it's cool yeah there's uh, you know about 20 years worth of work there I'd like to make I'd like to write another one to put some of more of the work that I haven't put in the first one in, and some of the stuff I'm writing now. And also I'd like to make another record. Obviously I try to make a record every year and I would like to do that, uh, another album with Henrik and with the same recording engineer, Martin Meinschaffer, in Germany if possible, because I enjoyed the experience in the studio so much and I know that Henrik and I uh, will make another great album. So we've kind of talked about that. We'll see how this first one goes and then kind of go from there. Okay. So traveling, seeing the world, I mean, I, I still want to see Australia. I'm hoping that you know, I can get a gig out there at some point. And so, yeah, just kind of I have dreams and, and, and uh, I'm not, uh, not done yet. Just I made this dream album, but I, I could make another one. <laughs> yeah, there's always another dream. That's just it. Yeah, there's always yeah. another dream and another dream. So, yeah, just continuing forward and, and believing in myself has been a really big part of this journey for me. So, Well, it's been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure. Would you like to say anything to the fans before you go? Uh, I, I just appreciate the fans. I, I'm in touch a lot online with everybody. Um, there's days when it's tough and when, when people send me their messages, it, it really revives my spirit. And I, I mean, I do this, the music for myself. I make the records for myself, but I always enjoy hearing the feedback. And so if anyone wants to contact me, I'm extremely easy to contact uh, on the Facebook fan page or through the MySpace or through my website or by email. I always try to get back to everyone yeah. and uh, keep the music alive and keep the blues alive. Keep, you know, uh, accessing the music, um, going out to see live performances and letting the younger people, like the kids in your life and, you know, your children hear this music and possibly it will inspire them to carry it on. So.
Um, yeah, and listen to Frank Sinatra once in a while just <laughs> for balance. <Yeah. laughs> anyway, thank you very Thanks much. Thanks a lot, Chris. Okay, right. bye-bye. Bye.